Hey guys, what's up? It's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at the clothing brand named Vince and not to be confused with Vince Commuto. This is just Vince. Um, they're basically known for like their cashmere and their leather, you know, coats, things like that. Um, you know, I find Vince quite often, but I leave a lot of pieces behind because it just doesn't sell at all. Uh, so we're going to look at the pieces that do sell on Poshmark, things that people are actually looking for right now in the last 30 days, according to Google data. And yeah, let's go ahead and head over there. So I asked you guys in my last video to uh, guess what brand I would be going over this week and whoever guessed it would win a $10 Starbucks gift card. And if nobody guessed it, then I would just add every single person who commented into the giveaway. So I did. And at the end of this video, I will be announcing that person. So definitely stick around for that. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at Vince. So there was not a lot of history on Vince. Um, they own a lot of different brands and that's basically all I was able to find about them. So when it comes to searching, there really isn't a lot of people searching for Vince. Obviously, whenever I type in Vince, it's showing up stuff for Vince Camuto, um, a lot of athletes with the name Vince, a lot of different things. So I had to exclude a lot of that. So it only left me with 6.6 thousand searches per month for Vince clothing. And then of course, 74,000 search per month for Vince, just a broad range. It could be anything. <laughs> So not a lot of searches for Vince. All right, so I also looked at the top search items according to Google data, keyword planners, which I typically use. And then I looked at Google Trends as well. So with Google Trends, the top search, like the rising, which is what's getting a lot of searches right now, were shoes, dresses, sandals, and slip-on sneakers. Those were the things by Vince that people were really looking for, like in the last 30 days. When I looked at keyword planner, these are all of the categories that people are looking for that had over a thousand searches per month. So we had Vince sweaters with 2.4 thousand searches per month, Vince coats at 1.3 thousand searches per month, Vince dresses with 1.9 thousand searches per month, Vince sneakers with 2.9 thousand searches per month, Vince sandals with 2.4 thousand searches per month, and then Vince boots with 1.9 thousand searches per month. Now, I recently picked up a pair of Vince jeans from the Goodwill outlet. I mean, it was like $1.89, so I said, what the heck? But they're still sitting there. Um, apparently, the jeans just really are not searched that much. I think it was said like 390 searches per month, which is nothing. So I will probably start leaving the jeans behind unless I find them really cheap and I sell them really cheap. All right, so the next is top search according to Poshmark. So these are the keyword bubbles that Poshmark has now on their pages. And it was in the order of shoes, dress, sandals, sweater, cashmere, sneakers, cardigan, coat, leather jacket, and silk. Um, and of course, you know, you can narrow it down by clicking on each of those bubbles and then clicking on the next bubble and so on and so on until it stops. And that kind of shows you what people are looking for. So for dress, these are the search terms that were searched the most for Vince. And then the terms beside it are going to be the top keywords that were used. So slip dress was number one with 590 searches per month. Satin was the top keyword, silk, and then black. Silk was searched 320 times per month with slip, shirt, and midi being the top keywords. Sleeveless wrap was searched 210 times per month, and these are all dresses. Uh, pleated dress was searched 170 times per month with cami being the number one keyword for that. And then shirt dress was searched 170 times per month with t-shirt, tie front, utility, and silk being the top keywords for shirt dresses by Vince. So if you're looking at this, if you're typing this in, it would say Vince slip dress, Vince silk dress, Vince sleeveless wrap dress. So um, the next one we're going to look at is coat. So wool coat was number one with 390 searches per month. It was Vince wool coat. Um, the top three keywords were hooded, car, and wool blend. Um, shearling was next with 390 searches per month, and the top keyword for that was reversible. Then trench coat was the next with 260 searches per month with belted and long being the top keywords used for that. And then puffer jacket was 170 searches per month with leather and vest and down being the top three keywords for that. So these are the top coats that people are looking for when it comes to Vince. Sneakers was next with the Warren sneaker with 720 searches per month. The top keywords for the Warren sneaker were platform, slip-on, and white. 
Um, the next was Blair, which I have two pairs of these in my closet and I probably have them listed price too high because nobody is wanting them. <laughs> um, but Blair slip on 480 searches per month, uh, slip on wood smoke, which I have that color in my closet as well. Black and white were the top keywords searched. So next we have sweaters and when it comes to the sweaters, Vince cashmere is like the number one thing. So, you know, if you run into Vince cashmere, anything, honestly, that's probably going to sell pretty well and for a decent amount. So definitely keep her out for cashmere when it comes to Vince. I would say, you know, cashmere and silk are like the top two, um, but with sweaters, cashmere, number one, with 1.3 thousand searches per month, cardigan was a keyword, funnel neck was a keyword, boiled was a keyword, and then turtleneck was a keyword. And all of these keywords had keywords. So down here, Cardigan's top keywords were shrunken, ribbed, raglan, and open front. Funnel neck's keywords were boiled and pullover. And then turtleneck had the keyword of mock neck. All right, so the next is sandals. So the Idris or Edris sandal was searched the most with 260 searches per month. And toe loop and black were the top keywords that were put in for that. And then Westport was the next with 110 searches per month. Then we had boots. The Cabria had 1000 searches per month. So its top keywords were black, lace up and booties. And then the next was the Havana notch with 210 searches per month. And then the Casper with 170 searches per month. And then the Tasha with 140 searches per month. So I've never found Vince boots. The only thing that I have found by Vince are flats, which did not even come up in my search. Um, flats and then their slip on sneakers, the Blair sneakers, which I have two pairs in my closet, which are not moving, not really getting any engagement whatsoever um, because they're pretty oversaturated on Poshmark. Everybody and their brother know about them. And when they find them, they definitely put them up for sale. So I probably have mine priced a little too high. I'm sure if I dropped it down to 10, 15 bucks, they'd sell. I did get them from the bin, so I might just do that. Uh, but anyway, all right, so the top keywords used when people were searching for Vince items was Vince Sneaker, Vince Cashmere, Vince Henley, Vince Women, Vince Brand, Vince Nordstrom, and then Vince Silk. All right, so I'm actually going to be cutting the video pretty short today because I have, I'm, I'm behind. Yesterday I got my second vaccine and I honestly stayed in bed the majority of the evening because I was sore from head to toe. I thought it was from going to the gym the two days before, which I think contributed to my pain. But yeah, my entire body ached yesterday. I feel so much better today. So I'm trying to catch up everything. But now we are going to look at the winner of the $10 Starbucks gift card and that person is Lauren M. So I did ask you guys to guess what brand I would be covering today and nobody guessed. So of course I said I would add everybody into the giveaway and pick a winner that way. And I chose Lauren M. So she said, love the video. My guess is free people. And obviously it wasn't free people, but I did do a free people video, which I will link up above if you want to go check that out. I think that was one of my first videos I did when it came to brand research. So Lauren, all you need to do is message me through my email address here in the description, or you can get in touch with me on Instagram at Ali Bethany, and I will talk to you through DMs there. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.